surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Beautiful Essentials here. I am so glad to be back. And I appreciate you all for all your love and prayers during all this time that I was down. Today's video is a requested one. It is a floor to ceiling privacy screen and because I'm in a rental, I have to make a damage free to mount, lighting weight, durable and a see-through. I thought about a table runner, but it's not strong enough. I also thought about a doormat, but that's going to be too heavy if I'm going to add eight together. This is going to be suspended from the ceiling and like I said, I live in a rental, so I have to make it as light as possible. This is the floor cover that I'm going to be using because it's perfect. It's thick and hard and it's also light in weight. This is an outdoor floor covering. I love the pattern, I love the design, and it's a see-through. And it's from Ikea. And it costs $12.99 per pack. And it covers about 8.7 square feet. Assembling this is pretty easy. You just align them and put one over the other until it clicks. I'll be using just three packs for now to see what it's going to look like. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. These are going to be suspended with book rings that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'll be attaching this thick PVC to the ceiling. You can also use wood for this. I'm gonna mark down the points to make it easy for me to mount them. I'll be using command strips to mount what I have up onto the ceiling and this command strips can hold up to 16 pounds. Now just a pair like this. hold up to 16 pounds and I'm going to be using three. This might seem like it's a little bit too much but I would rather be safe than sorry because I don't want to mount this onto the ceiling and it falls down on me. So I'm going to be using three.
I'll be using cup hooks to hold the floor covers. Now all I'm gonna do is mount this to the ceiling first and I'm gonna make sure that I apply a lot of pressure till I know that it's firmly in place. I made this in a way that it's easy to mount and easy to remove as well. This is a requested video and I don't really need this because of the layout that I have in my apartment. But I'm just gonna try it out anyway because I kind of like the idea of having a separate space, but in the future, if it's gonna be too much of an inconvenience, I might decide to just remove it. Now I'm gonna be working on the lengths that I need and when I'm done, I'm going to be covering them with mirror reflective paper and attaching them to the floor covers. I did not close the mats because I want this to be wider. So in between is where I'm going to be attaching the strips. I'll be using the same strip for the bottom, but if you like, you can use wood and cover it with contact paper and use command strips to attach it to the wall, the floor, and the newly made privacy screen. I later on added another pack because three was not enough. Here's what the privacy screen looks like. I have to admit that this is a cute and interesting way to separate spaces and still have adequate lighting and ventilation. The light that surrounds me. You can also add an extra design at the back if you like. We'll go far. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.